Hey, what's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon, bringing you another hopefully exciting video today. So what I got for you today is our first community video in a couple weeks. Uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of the comments that I got from you guys in reference to the hidden boss uh, first, and then we're going to go on to the hidden titles or the titles that are rare that people probably don't have. I uh, chose a few comments from them. Uh, as always, if you didn't get it chosen, uh, just keep commenting away, and I will try to put you in the next one. So we have Fox Live 17 who says, I've already beaten Inferno in that mode. It wasn't that hard as compared to Aswell, but it was fun nonetheless. I just wish that if you completed the Ancient, you got a cool looking design for the sword, like Master Weapons that Edge Master in 5 had, or in Soul Calibur Soul Edge versions of them. Uh, I'd have to agree that going through all that is a little painstaking just to get like um, a randomized variation of the weapon. It would be nice if you got like a really cool like ultimate edition of the weapon that you can only unlock in that mode and then maybe use to other modes. It would have been a really good way to utilize a lot of the 8th slots on a lot of the characters weapon selection screens also. Especially if we did like an ultimate like Soul Edge or Soul Calibur version of that styled weapon. Uh, I think that would have been pretty easy to implement and it would go along with the story as well so I agree with that. Solarflay95 said, Oh boy, those were two fights in the, that were pain in the buttocks. And I should know, I've done it on two separate files. Um, I'm assuming that those two separate playthroughs that you did was one for good ending and one for evil ending. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, a lot of people could play just with different characters they want to create too. I might actually get around to doing that if there's um, a lull and gap in time after se the possible Season 3 and Soul Calibur 7. If, that'll give me something to do. Um, if I just want to hop in and play the game doing something outside of creating characters, so. Michael Garcia said, Yeah, I played through with my Ione from Dead or Alive, and it was a sweet ride. Even the final boss, I still say, needs more cutscene. Yeah, one of my biggest complaints that I had about the game is the lack of cutscenes. Like, even if they had, like, storyboarded cutscenes where, um, it was just, like, an illustration, you know, doing, acting something out like an ending or an alternate um, it's just some variation of that, like the fact that we just have characters' heads talking is, it is a little annoying, especially with the text on the screen. Uh, while I do enjoy it for the amount of lore that it actually gives you, it would have been nice to see some extra cutscenes, especially if they were animated, that would have been awesome. Caliber75 the Gamer says, It was fun but hard to get to that boss, laugh out loud. Yeah, it's, I mean, even just unlocking... The potential of one weapon and, va and facing off against that one ancient is a pretty difficult uh, task, let alone defeating ten of them, that ultimate inferno, and then another ten, and then like the super inferno, like, I haven't done it yet myself, so it's just, um, I don't know, it seems a little difficult. Death Soul 777 says, dude, that sounds awesome, I need those titles, and I love more lore. Dude, thanks for pointing this out. Another awesome ride video. Thank you, man. Thank you for always watching, bro. Thanks for the comment. Patriots112 says, I still have play never played the mode. My friend has, though, and has the titles that you mentioned. He beat it completely. Uh, that is, in and of itself, a super feat, and I would like to see how many hours he has put into that game, because that takes a long time. <laughs> Stu Phoenix says, Good to know that I have somewhat of a reason to play the mode more. Yeah, I think Libra of Souls is super underrated because it's got a lot of content in there that, like, it's really hard to get through all of it. Um, and even when you do, there's still other challenges that you have yet to unlock, and there's always the random um, foes that you encounter from the Astral Fissures. So there's just a lot, like, in that mode. Terrence Sproul says, If Libra of Souls comes back in Soul Calibur 7, please make it a better way to navigate. Sometimes the arrow has a mind of its own. Laugh out loud. Great video, G. Um, yeah, I've noticed that too. I also don't like the fact that it costs money to traverse around the area. I felt like that was kind of cheap, but there's not much that money is used for except for unlocking a few uh, items in the creation system and then Libra. So I can kind of see why they did that, but it would have been better if they had... I want like a small like city, like open world type-esque thing. It doesn't have to be huge. Like think something like Naruto Storm 1. Um, on PS3 where they just had all of Konoha unlocked and it was decent enough to run around with characters I think that would tell a decent story if you could have a small area like that 
or even have it more linear, such as like how Storm 2 and Forward did, where you can still traverse around the whole open areas, but like the interims are kind of linear with enemies and stuff like that. I don't know, like I just think that that would be a lot more engaging, but it also takes a lot bigger of a budget. So let's see. I know this game sold well, so hopefully they have the budget for the next game to actually put more into the single player stuff. Thank you for the comment. Daniel Ramsey says, just knowing that these titles exist helps me. Yeah, it's good to have motivation to get back into the game and play whenever you need something to actually want to do. Sometimes one of my biggest frustrations when you complete games 100% is that there's nothing left to do, and it pretty much feels like the game's just going to sit there. So even if you do like the game a lot, like for me, uh, the game Sleeping Dogs, I love that game. I played it on PS3 and on PS4 to its completion, to the point now where I just go in and walk around and there's nothing to do. So I really wish there was at least random encounters or some other kind of stuff that you can do to keep yourself occupied. And that goes for um, this game as well. Like, if you believe that there is nothing left to do, there might be more than meets the eye to that, especially with Libra of Souls, because I believe that Libra of Souls makes up, like, more than 50% of the game. So if you've just done all the other stuff, or you just played the story, the Soul Chronicles, and then online, like, you're really missing out on actually, like, half of the game. And you might be missing out on potential lore and stuff going into Soul Calibur 7, because there's a lot that's covered in that mode that they don't cover in the individual Soul Chronicles. And now some comments on my six rarest player titles and how to get them. Caliber75TheGamer says, Great video on telling us how to get those, those titles. I remember when I got all the titles, I had to go to 8-Way Run message boards. Uh, it was hard finding information on them. Yeah, for some reason it's like, uh, this game especially, like, uh, Soul Calibur... This game has sold the most besides Soul Calibur 2, I believe. And um, it's funny to see how, like, as big as it's gotten, the information on its niche. Like, the whole reason I started covering mainly Soul Calibur stuff is because there's not a lot of information out there. There's a lot of the same regurgitated fact stuff, like, oh, this character's releasing, and these rumors are here, and like that. But there's not a lot of discussion topics or how-tos or tutorials and stuff like that. That's one of the reasons I started... Uh, covering this stuff but thank you for the comment patriots1112 says i only have like four or five titles unlocked um i have to check my titles uh, i do like unlocking them just for the player card because it like shows off i guess like what you accomplished in the game if you're playing online or against a friend but i have to check and see mine terence Sprell says i have some of those titles but the second one transcendent blade master master 20 styles i never do that one laugh out loud i love these videos Thanks again for the comment, and yeah, it's, it's not really easily um, accessible information, I guess. Like, it's kind of just, it's out there, but it's kind of hard to find. It's me. Uh, we're going to close out with his comment, and it says, I didn't even know about these, and I play like every day. Thank you so much for this. Well, that's what I'm here for, and hopefully um, you guys got some information out of the videos that maybe you didn't understand or didn't know. And uh, once again, these community videos are a way of giving back to you guys and just highlighting you and your comments and stuff like that. So if you want your comments to show up in a future iteration of the community videos, just comment on the videos because I randomly select comments. Um, I randomly select videos too these days. It was easier back when I did like one video a week to do like full comments on it, but now that I do daily videos, I have to pick and choose because I try to get like between 15 and 20 comments into these. Um, but thanks to you guys, the channel is growing at a faster rate than it ever has been, and I appreciate you guys and all your comments and watches. Um, I'll keep up the good work if you keep up the good work, and let's do this together. And as always, guys, thank you. And thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Have you always wanted some sweet Mark Yoon merch? Maybe a thick you shirt, maybe a shirt from Squirt, maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body, or a throw pillow, or blanket, or anything? Well... You're in luck because I just launched my merch store and it is going to be available on Redbubble and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up so you can show your support for the channel and just rep Mark Yoon.